audience, Professor Tashkur from Faisalabad. Are you still in Faisalabad? Good. And uh, I recognize Dr. Aladita Abed from the Department of Land Protection. My dear colleagues, students, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. It's an honor for me to be here at the, at the microbiology conference and to be invited by Dr. Shahana Aruj Kasmi, who is synonymous with microbiology all, all over, not only in Pakistan, but all over the world, you see, you know. So I, I, I honestly commend her all, all efforts, you see. You see, I, I, the other thing, I am so happy to be here at a very new private sector university, which has created an excellent infrastructure. And then that is the way to go. And I think they will be able to contribute much more to development of science, to development of the different areas of biology as well. And the microbiology happens to be an important area, you see. I personally, I don't know if I can call myself a microbiologist or not, you know, but I have been involved in, in, in with microbes all my life, you see, you know. Uh, with, you see, I'm, I have, I'm not a clinical microbiologist. We have been working in agriculture mainly, and we developed a lot of interactions of microbes with uh, plants, and we were, and we were the first to launch the commercial biofertilizer, you see, which was based on uh, different microorganisms, which were eventually now we commonly call them plant growth promoting bacteria, uh, PGR, you know. And, and, and so these have been still going on, and these are commercialized in the name of biopower. And that is when I was working at Nayab and then Ibjit later on. And uh, so these are the areas which I have been now. Microbiology has developed into a very a different phase. You see, it is a, it is a, you know, it's a joint of all all sciences actually. You know, bioinformatics, uh, all all modern tools of biotechnology, and everything has revolutionized the science of microbiology. Now it is the era of of of, of metagenomics of microbiome, you see, we were recently had several pu publications on microbiome of halophytes, you see, and comparing this, this, this microbiome with uh, the non-halophytic organisms, you see. So this has revealed immense information about the ecology, about the taxonomy, about the kind of bacteria which are there in a halophyte and which are not there in a, in a non-halophyte plant, you see. Similarly, we are nowadays very actively working on, uh, uh, on cotton, you see. We, have, uh, uh, we are comparing the microbiome of a disease-infected cotton, that is the de uh, cotton infected with cotton thief bulb virus, and comparing it with a healthy cotton, and then also comparing with another variety, another species of cotton, which is uh, Procipium arboreum. Uh, and that is a very resistant uh, plant species. And then we have taken the microbiome from arboreum and uh, trying to transfer it to hirsutum, which is a commercial uh, cotton variety, and seeing the effect whether we can control, because Many of the organisms are responsible of secreting some of the signal-inducing compounds like salicylic acid and other such compounds which trigger the pathogen-resistant proteins in the plant, you see, you know. So anyway, so this is an area of microbiology which has tremendously changed, you see. The old type of, uh, you know, microbiology is interesting, but for the application sake, you have to excel into different areas, you see. Before being appointed at this new assignment, I was working on the Hadiara drain. Hadiara is the drain which uh, in Lahore, which comes from India and goes all the way to Devar Ravi, you see. And, and we have, I had traveled all around, it was about 25 kilometers, 
and taking samples for different areas because uh, alongside the Hadiara drain, there are so many industries who are putting all their effluents into, into this drain. So we wanted to see that which kind of uh, m microbes are there and which kind of uh, specially targeting the m multiple drug resistant strains, you see, and also to look at the diversity of these strains and their activities, you see. So anyway, these are the kinds of work that we have been doing. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> a professor can never be asked, should not be asked to give a presidential address, you see, you know, because we tend to go on into our own areas, you see. So, but I just wanted to highlight that microbiology is not the same that 30, 40 years back it was. It has changed and all of you students, you must take that thing into account, you see. You must have your eyes and ears open to look at the, all the developments which are there in the field of microbiology. And one of the objective of such conferences is to have the interactions with all your senior colleagues, junior colleagues, your friends and everything and form a networking, you see, because without that, I mean, no work can be done by individual, you see. This is an evidence, you look at the literature, you will not find any journal article written by a single author. It is authored by multiple people, you know, from different labs, from different countries even, you see. So, the objective of such conferences is to develop and facilitate collaboration among, among you all, you see, because here I understand that there are people from Punjab, from Balochistan, from KPK, and from Karachi as well, you see, you know, so you should try to use this facility, this opportunity to develop these collaborations, you see. And uh, I hope and pray that this conference is successful. I have been rousing through the book of abstracts and it is fascinating to see the, the diversity of topics that are being discussed, you see. So, so I'm excited that this conference will, will uh, result in, in some tangent uh, 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 collaborations. And as, as uh, if uh, Shahana allows, we can offer that the next uh, conference after two years, is it? And uh, since I am I am uh, mainly working at FC College, and I hope in the next two years I'm still there. But even if I'm there or not, we will make sure that this conference is held there, and we will have to uh, look at the kind of facilities that she has developed here, so that we can replicate those in Lahore as well. So I wish you all the best, and hope. That, that this conference is successful and, they, and you all enjoy your stay in Karachi and wish you all the best. Thank you, God bless you.